And those power problems are on the same day that many of you got an alert that was sent to your phone. Leaders want you to conserve power. Yeah, ERCOT, which manages the state's grid, asked for that conservation earlier today. They tracked today's demand, and the graph you're looking at shows they were able to keep up with that demand for the day. They are also forecasting that they will be able to keep the power on tonight. So here's the question. What went wrong? Well, what caused the fire that left 3,500 people without power on the city's south side? The night team's Patty Santos went to Pyron Avenue near Hancock to speak with neighbors. Him and I was like, like, the power just went out, you know, is everything okay? And he's like, no, there's a fire over here. As flames went up at the Pyron CPS Energy substation, so did the temperatures for residents around there. And we heard the transformer pop, but it always popped, so it was no big deal. This time, it was a big deal, knocking out power to more than 3,500 CPS Energy customers. Some businesses forced to shut down for the day. We started seeing business right around 6 o'clock, so when the power went out, we're like, oh no, but at the same time, this heat is going to heat my building up so quickly that I had to shut down. I didn't have a choice. The outage happening just hours after a phone alert was sent out asking customers to conserve energy as temperatures reached 107 degrees. I was expecting to lose electricity at some point. The lights came back on about an hour after the fire. In a tweet, CPS Energy said the customers were taken offline for safety, but they say the cause of the fire will be investigated. But it was enough to worry some. It's miserable, and I'm from Arizona, so this is still miserable for me. And the latest from CPS Energy tonight is that there was a piece of equipment that caught fire that caused all these problems. Uh, residents also telling me this is a really good reminder for them to have a plan if they lose power during this heat wave, know who to call and know where the nearest cooling center is for you. We have a list of that on KSAT.com. And of course, don't forget to check on your elderly neighbors. Um, Stephania?